uh, the movie October Sky that was based on uh, Rocket Boys was the fact that I met Senator John F. Kennedy when he was running for president in the West Virginia primary that he had to win. And since I was a rocket boy headed toward the National Science Fair, he asked me what we should do in space. And I answered Senator Kennedy. I looked around at all the coal miners in, uh, in the crowd and I said, well, I think we should go to the moon and just mine the blame thing. And all the coal miners, they just, they laughed and cheered and he said, elect me president and maybe we will. Most recently, one of my books called Back to the Moon, Vice President Pence told me that uh, that's one of his favorite books. And we talked at length and extensively about that. The next thing I knew, he was down in Huntsville, Alabama at the Space and Rocket Center at Space Camp saying, we're going back to the moon by 2024. So I'm kind of in a unique position of being able to take credit for both the Apollo <laughs> and the Artemis space program. Van Dyke, who was the general superintendent of uh, the coal mine in Colwood, where I grew up, uh, used to say it's, uh, it's better to admit ignorance than to provide it. Uh, and of course, I'm sure that I was in the process of providing some of that ignorance to him at the time, which is what prompted him uh, to say that. Um, as a matter of fact, I can tell you precisely when it was. It was when Roy Lee and Odell, a couple of the Rocket Boys, uh, just happened to go into the mule barn uh, after midnight to, to, to borrow some uh, telephone equipment uh, and, and got locked up in there and were discovered the next morning and I was called to kind of kind of bail them out. Uh, by the way, it's an absolute libelous uh, charge that the Rocket Boys stole mining equipment. We never stole mining equipment. We, we, we tended to borrow it and forget to give it back sometimes, but we never, 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 never stole it. They didn't have time for everything in the movie. But in the film, you would perhaps get the idea that uh, people in Colwood were, were not that well educated. But let me tell you, everybody in Colwood read uh, more or less constantly. Maybe it's because we didn't have anything else to do. I'm not sure. But no matter which home that you went into, there was, there was going to be a stack of books. And my father, who was uh, self-taught, self-educated, probably one of the best mining engineers in the country, even though he didn't have a degree, um, was an intellectual and and so quite often I would delve into the books that he had stacked up and I would read books just because since my father was kind of a distant man uh, to me and my brother um, I could get some kind of insight into his thinking by by reading the books that he read <laughs> 